We are in the third week of October, and Google is currently rolling out its third batch of updates for every device running Android 6 or higher. That's right. Even if you are no longer receiving over-the-air firmware updates from the company who makes your phone, Google is still releasing new changes that impact virtually every active device out there. So let's take a look at the changes happening this week. You're going to be seeing the Google Play Services application updated to version 25.41. And once that has been installed, you'll be able to use your mobile phone to complete reCAPTCHA verification checks that are happening on the web. Google Password Manager is getting a new feature that allows you to find hidden pass keys that are saved within the app. That way you can choose to delete them if you want. This new update also adds some features to those who are actively using Google Wallet as well, including the ability to add cards directly through the issuer's dedicated applications. Anyone on Android 12 or earlier will now see a notification appear if you have a loyalty pass imported from Gmail while the Google Wallet app is installed and you'll now be able to view live updates in Google Wallet while you are traveling. And these updates will include details about your flights, your trips on a train, and other events that you've been to while you are abroad. This week, we're also going to see the Google Play Store updated to version 48.5. And with it, people in Mongolia will now be able to purchase in-app products and subscriptions. And you can now view personalized app content from your installed apps in the Play Store. So be sure to access Play Collections from the app's home to explore similar content. And this makes it seem like the Play Collections feature is going to be a powerful recommendation feature for the Google Play Store. You can either let your phone automatically install these updates when they have been made available to your specific device, or you can choose to manually sideload those updates if you'd like. But please use the comment section down below if you end up running into issues getting these apps updated properly. And don't forget to give this video a like, share it with anyone that you know who owns an Android device, and I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel too, assuming you're not already subbed.